I want our young people to know that they matter, that they belong. So don't be afraid. Do you hear me? Young people, don't be afraid. Be focused. <laughs> be determined. Be hopeful. Be empowered. Empower yourselves with a good education. Then get out there and use that education to build a country worthy of your boundless promise. Lead by example with hope, never fear. Our greatness has never ever come from sitting back and feeling entitled to what we have. It's never come from folks who climb the ladder of success or who happen to be born near the top and then pull the ladder up after themselves. No, uh-uh. Our greatness has always come from people who expect nothing and take nothing for granted. Folks who work hard for what they have then reach back and help others after them. I am Tamara, a future physician assistant. Future general surgeon. Future doctor. Future dentist. I'm Samir Khan, a future oral surgeon. A future physician assistant. RMD and director of clinical development. I stand for justice, diversity, community, mindfulness, accountability, impact, ambition, and innovation, empathy, tenacity, perseverance, passion, purpose, equality, mental health awareness. Yo represento equidad, barreras de idioma, e innovación. My mission as a young healthcare professional is to serve others and improve others' lives one smile at a time. To provide pharmaceutical medication to underrepresented communities. To educate children and young adults on the importance of oral health care. To improve the quality of life of people in underrepresented areas in the ways I didn't have growing up. I want to be a leader and a mentor in my community and I feel that through medicine I am able to do those things. Success isn't about how your life looks to others. It's about how it feels to you. We realize that being successful isn't about being impressive. It's about being inspired. And, and, and that's what it means to be your true self. Mentoring, diverse, empowering, motivational, engaging, informative, networking, professional. Exposure. I have to accept my failures and overcome my obstacles, which is needed for growth and development. Hustle. Maintain my focus. Collaborate with my peers. To persevere and let my passion drive me through tough times. One thing that SHPEP has opened my eyes to is to be comfortable in uncomfortable settings. Variety and research that you can do in public health that will actually make an impact in people's lives. Provided me with not only career insight, but also professional networking, hands-on experience in a clinical setting, and personal growth. The importance of not only opportunities, but utilizing them to meet people that inspire and guide you. Not be ashamed of my failures, to actually use them as building blocks in order to do better the next time around. Shepep reminded me that even the very doctors that we see today are people just like us. They had their own troubles, they had their own tribulations prior to being a healthcare professional. And they really showed how vulnerable we can be and how we can achieve the same very goal. It opened my eyes to different um, health professions. Yeah, my goals are achievable, especially when surrounded by a community of future health professionals. The fact that diversity goes beyond race and gender and goes into socioeconomic status, familial background, environment, education, and so much more. But graduates, as you all know, life will put many obstacles in your path that are far worse than a bad grade. You'll, you'll have unreasonable bosses and difficult clients and patients. You'll experience illnesses and losses, crises and setbacks that will come out of nowhere and knock you off your feet. But unlike so many other young people, you have already developed the resilience and the maturity that you need to pick yourself up and dust yourself off and keep moving through the pain.